So she will, uh, she will be speaking on Lifiti uh, uh, grass, a novel immunomodulator. Dr. Anchal Gupta, she is uh, uh, founder of Netradam Eye uh, Institute, uh, currently practice in New Delhi, a social entrepreneur and a, and a, and a specialist in cornea, cataract and refractive surgeries. So, so this is just arrived from Delhi, <laughs> just walking here. So we hope to listen from you uh, on the new uh, immunomodulator, the, the lifty grass. Am I audible? Yes, I am audible. So very good evening to everyone. I'm Dr. Anchal Gupta, and I've just rushed my way from the airport to be here on time. So thank you all of you to be around here. And today I'll be talking about Lifty Graft. So the purpose of this talk is to bring forth to everyone that very soon in Indian market, we are going to have Lifty Graft, which was not there with us before. So that's the whole idea that we should all now be happy and excited that soon we can use this novel immunomodulator for our patients of dry eye and ocular surface inflammation. This medicine has been available by the name um, Zyadra throughout in um, USA, Australia, Japan, but we Indians, we did not have it. So very soon, in, in a month or two's time, we are gonna have it with us in our pharmaceutical um, kitty. So we should be knowing what it is, what it does, how we can use it, and how it can benefit our patients. So I'm going to talk about Liftigrast 5%. So it's an immunomodulator, like all of us have been using cyclosporin before as an immunomodulator in our patients of inflammatory dry eye. When we talk about inflammatory dry eye, we bridge the paradigm of the thought process that we have been thinking that dry eye and inflammation are different. No, they are not different. Dry eye and inflammation are very much the same to an extent that I won't be wrong if I call it dry itis. Because gone is the thought process when we would think that dry eye is deficiency of uh, tears or it is just evaporation of tears. No, the entire mechanism of dry eye in our patients is based on underlying inflammation at the ocular surface. So we as ophthalmologists should be focused not just on providing a ocular surface lubricant, but should be really geared up to take care of the inflammation on the ocular surface. Now, what are the tools we have to take care of the inflammation? We either depend on steroids when we are battling with um, acute onset inflammation. But if we are dealing with a patient of long-term dry eye, we have to be prepared with good immunomodulators which are not steroid and hence we don't have the risk of steroid uh, in our patient's eye and which are safe systemically and on the ocular surface and acceptable by the patient. So we have um, liftigrast. So grossly what happens in an, in an ocular surface immune response is when the ocular surface is dry for a long time, it causes surface inflammation. The surface inflammation excites the T cell. These T cells, they produce cytokines. In the initial event, that's a good response. That helps in saving us from the irritation. But if this inflammation is there for a persistent or a long time, that causes continued inflammation and hence scarring and permanent side effects in our patients. What really happens is that there is LFA1 on the surface of T cell and ICAM on the surface of the epithelium of the IH is present on the conjunctiva, the corneal epithelial cells and all around. In case of inflammation, these ICAM from the T cell, they come and interact with the, uh, these LFA on the T cell, they come and interact with the ICAM on the epithelial surface. So what we have to figure out, a method which stops this interaction between T cell and the epithelial surface. Earlier we had cyclosporin, but that was grossly suppressing the inflammatory system. So we were in search for something which was more selective, which was limited only to the inflammatory T cells and not the normal T cells. So liftigrast is novel in a way that it inhibits, it mimics the surface of LFA1, and therefore it inhibits the synapse between LFA1 and ICAM, and hence it breaks the cycle of inflammation that happens in patients of dry eye. How liftigrast is used? 
Lifrograft is used just like any other immunomodulator, which is twice a day BD. And it is a preserved molecule. It will come in the mo uh, preservative-free molecule, and we'll be having it in the market like a preservative-free molecule, which will be in the form of unims, which can be kept at room temperature. So the drug has been present um, since 2019 in the global pharmaceutical world, and it has been well accepted. It is USA uh, FDA approved. But in India, we'll be having SUL, and there has been a large uh, blinded multicentric control uh, study which has been done. And the study was compared with CMC and Liftigraph both twice a day across the centers um, in the country. And it was very well accepted that the drug helped in improving the hydrogenous score, it helped in improving the discomfort score, it helped with ocular surface disease index. TBOT, fluorescein screen, epithelium uh, surface marking, and in, in, in all the expected parameters, it was better than just a BD CMC usage. So hence, I conclude that, um, and and the the most novel thing which was figured out that it has a faster onset of action. So we don't have to wait for three weeks in our patients. It usually shows its effects by ten days to two weeks and begins to show positive response in our patients. So. We can safely use liftigrast in our patients of dry eye, and um, it can be very much a good substitute to the existing immunomodulators where we uh, face the risk of uh, systemic side effects like bone density suppression and nephrotoxicity, and the drug is very much acceptable with minimal ocular surface side effects. That is me for today. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Thank you, Dr. Anjum. And I must congratulate you for coming right on the time. And then you're. Uh, <laughs> Thank we you are so lucky much. enough to hear from you for, uh, on this uh, new. Uh, immunomodulator. I thank you, Dr. Yeah. Nomi, to you know, constantly communicate. Uh, I, I really appreciate we were well communicated that, OK, I, I can make do it. I can make do it. Thank you so much for such a beautiful organization. And also the team of Micro who was there coordinating. And also, we are going to have this drug through the um, factories of Micro. Lifty grass will come through us through Micro. So one thing I, uh, I want to know, is there any, any studies to difference between the cyclosporin and no. 0.05? None, uh, none as of yet. Okay, okay. None as of yet across the world. There is so no comparison between cyclosporin. Be like I, I have seen one uh, cost is around, it costs around 50,000 for a, a man in, U, in, uh, in the Western countries. So if it come to India, how? Like yes, that indeed is a challenge. And that is, I think we will be able to comment uh, in a month or two. Because as much as I understand, even the company has not zeroed down at what price point will they bring it. Indeed, that's a very big concern for a developing country like India. And the side effects like uh, the side effects, and all. yeah, the, the side effects so far, which has been documented, are occasional blurring of vision and occasional surface irritation. But oh, visibus, the taste sensation is there. Yes, the uh, the disturbed that. taste sensation that happens with Liftigraft. Uh, there hasn't been a visibus comparison, but let's see if it fares better. It seems to be faring better than cyclosporin in longer term, and its pain seems to be having a longer, uh, a faster uh, mode of action. But yes. We'll be able and to comment on that once we the use studies it. Studies have got that that efficacy usually come in two to three weeks times, where we see in cyclosporin you see it later three yes. months time. So yes. That's, yes. That's w another con uh, pros from this uh, drugs. Yes. Well, I was wondering about the bad taste. I was wondering that we Indians are anyways used to tikha and teda meda khana, so maybe we accept it. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Uh, yeah. Have you actually used this drug? No, no, Dr. Okay, Rishi, okay. I haven't, okay. yes. I'm sure you must have used with your no, patients. No, I, even I haven't used, so I, I was curious how was your patient experience. So, so it hasn't come in India as of yet. Uh, I have had few of my patients who are living there in USA, and they are using it. So they have mentioned that they are using it uh, conveniently. But yes, I haven't used it in my practice. I'll be able to, once it is launched, it is yet to launch. OK, thank you.